Hello and welcome to the channel Tech and More. So, in this video, we are going to discuss about the difference between test plan and test strategy. And honestly, saying uh, you do not use it that much practically when working in the projects, but uh, uh, it has been a very vital and a very important question. uh especially in the interviews so it is good it is important to know the significance of test plan the test uh, strategy the pointers and a template or an example so i'll try to keep it very brief very quick and uh, i hope that this short explanation uh, gives you enough content to give a good answer in the uh, testing interview so let's start so first one is test plan so uh, test plan basically uh, describes the scope objective and wait on software testing task that is it means that test plan is basically concerned with the activities relating at the project level see you see the project level it has a primary goal of how to test when to test and who will verify the functionalities and it can be changed so i i know it can be a bit overwhelming when you just look at the pointers so i have a template for you and i want you to look at the template first and once you do then i think these pointers will make more sense to you right so have a look at the template for a test plan so here it says the uh, i mean there are different pointers the number one is scope that is the scope has the user stories and everything then it is timelines that is the test suit and data creation when should when should it be done when should the functional testing be done when should the regression testing be done in which environment will it be done when will the sprint be closed all these different pointers pertaining to the project from the qa perspective that is the different pointers that are concerned with the project the different parameters that you need to discuss in regard to the project are recorded in test plan so now again let's jump on to the pointers so have a look at these pointers again and i'm quite sure that now you'll be able to understand the test plan significance better after having a look at the um the template of the test plan so that is all about the test plan uh, basically one thing that it discusses all the different parameters of a pro of of uh, the of qa at the project level again discusses different parameters at the project level from the qa perspective now let's jump on to the uh, next thing that is test strategy so if you can see on the screen it says describes how testing needs to be done is used at an organization level basically it is extreme opposite of test plan right and that is why there is uh, the question is always about the difference between test plan and test strategy and then has primary goal of what modules to validate and which techniques to follow and it cannot be changed so if you if you uh, rewind a bit you will see that uh, it is these are just polar parts you know every pointer is opposite to the pointer that we just discussed so uh, again to give you a better explanation of what it actually is i'll show you the example or i'll show you the template of a test strategy so if you see the pointers here it says name of the project so therein we did not have name because it is already at the project level right but herein we are discussing it at the uh, organization level right so for you are working in an organization and every organization will have a couple of practices set for qa so all these practices will be mentioned in this particular document and will be shared with the clients right so uh, it says type of computing environments type of softwares user demographics that is wherein the uh, system will be used what is the purpose of testing what is the scope of testing testers who are the testers or the qa professionals that will be actually uh, testing uh, type of testing that will be done risks and all these other parameters so if you see and if you have a look at the pointers before that i just uh, did show you in the test strategy it says it is used at an organization level and it describes how testing needs to be done right so basically the same thing that is uh, you have to understand that test strategy basically discusses the parameters of qa at the organization level that how many testers will be needed what hours will be needed what types of testing will be done how many hardwares or how many laptops and mobiles will be used so this is what basically test strategy is all about so uh, take a screenshot or pause your video here and have a look at the test plan and test strategy compare the pointers correlate them and i think you'll be able able to understand and what i would suggest is that if someone asks you in an interview that what is the difference between test plan and test strategy you simply say a test plan is actually a document 
that discusses the QA parameters at the project level. That is only talking about the project pointers. That is what will be the user stories, what will be the timelines, what will be the environment that we'll be using, when will the testing close, when will the testing start. This is test plan. Now, test strategy is basically a document that talks about the QA parameters at the organization level. If you see the document here and it talks about the number of testers you'll require, the hardware devices that you'll require, uh, who is the client, what is the project name and all these things, right? So, uh, and one more pointer that you can add and it adds value to your answer is that test strategy is a super set of test plan. A test strategy will always contain a test plan, right? So I hope that this particular video helps you to answer the question to differentiating between test plan and test strategy well in brief. So have a look at it, try to correlate things. And still, if you have any issues, any questions, as always, please feel free to comment and we assure you to get back within 24 hours. That is for sure. So happy learning and uh, hope to see you in other videos. Thank you.